At the end of every season, you're faced with a garden filled with lifeless plants. On the surface, everything appears unsalvageable. Fortunately, we can benefit from this once a year opportunity by collecting seeds and share the bounty with our warm friends. Check the health of the plants and the soil. Collect seeds from healthy plants to avoid extending poor genetics. Gently pull on plants to check for removal. A healthy plant will stay intact, but these plants will easily give. Dried roots signify the end of a plant's growing season. Pale and yellow cucumbers as well as wilting at the base is an indication that these plants have reached the end of life. Check for prospective plants that have potential for viable seed collection. Gather deceased plants and separate the fruits. Deceased plants can be fed to the warm bin to eliminate waste. Every part of the plant is compostable. Do not discard healthy organic scraps. Underdeveloped fruits should also be composted if not consumed. Inspect for beneficial insects, ladybugs, praying mantis, and butterflies often nest in these plants. Gather any reusable bamboo sticks. Trim off decaying ends to allow proper curing. Collect plant clips and reuse for other plants or next season. Sanitation isn't required. Gather all browns and greens. Worms will enjoy every part of it. The roots will not continue to grow. The worms will consume these as well. Place inside worm bin with minimal pressure. Additional pruning isn't required. Often you'll find beneficial insects still inhabit the deceased plants. Leave container open to allow beneficial insects to fully pupate. Bamboo sticks can be reused every year until they're fully composted. Collect mature cucumbers. Compost any that are underdeveloped. Cucumbers can remain intact through winter. Seeds will germinate inside if conditions are ideal. Mature cucumbers collected at the end of every season contain more viable seeds compared to the mature cucumbers during the growing season. Non-viable seeds can be found throughout the mature cucumber. Viable seeds can be found hidden deep inside the pockets of the cucumber. Seed scarification is not required for open pollinated seeds. Large and small cucumbers can yield viable seeds. Collect healthy varieties for optimal growth next season. Fully mature cucumbers are edible, but they have a very bitter taste. Stir fry for a delicious treat. One approach for seed collection is scarification if weather permits. This method isn't required. The other method is to extract contents and place in a cup of water then collect all sinking seeds. The best seed genetics will come from fully mature cucumbers. Viable seeds will appear plump and occupied by an embryo. They'll sink in the cup of water. Non-viable seeds will float and easily break in half. Berry cucumber remains deep in the plant bed for worms to enjoy. 
or place in a worm bin. Drying cucumbers require inner membranes to discharge in order to accelerate the scarification process. Collecting your own seeds has many benefits. It attracts pollinators due to mature flowers. Adaptation. This improves plant genetics according to your growing environment. Expense. Save by collecting in abundance every year. Self-sufficiency. Manage your own seed supply and share the bounty with others. Compost. Eliminate waste by composting or vermicomposting. Every mature cucumber will vary in seed viability. A guideline to follow is to allow at least 10% or more of my plants to gracefully mature in order to collect their seeds for the following year. A handful of seeds can be sowed to check the germination rate, and once more at the last frost date. Cucumber remains as well as the plant can be buried deep in a plant bed to allow natural decomposition. Remember to collect seeds, or you'll end up with a cluster of seedlings. Bamboo sticks sometimes make an appearance. These will naturally break down over time. Water collection starts by gathering contents of the cucumber and draining. Lightly rinse the contents and gently stir to dislodge any stubborn seeds. These seeds are in the final stages of drying. They'll be stored once completed. Hydrogen peroxide can be used to clean off any organic matter for long-term storage. Make sure containers are sanitized to prevent mold growth. Soak seeds in a 10% hydrogen peroxide and 90% water solution. You'll notice a white film separate from the seeds. Seeds without an embryo will easily snap in half when pressure is applied. Collect and discard floating seeds. Discard seed coating by stirring container and pouring out contents. Viable seeds will remain at the bottom. Discard water once seeds have fully migrated to the center. Air dry the remaining viable seeds. Direct sunlight is recommended. Seeds have been cleaned and dried. These can be stored for up to 5 years. Inspect for any debris or mold. Discard if discovered. Remember to seal and label. I hope this encourages you to collect not only cucumber seeds, but everything in your garden has to offer. Like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this content and would love to see more.